my phone died, so I couldn't call you. I'm like, okay, so that means you need to take yourself somewhere. <laughs> that try to get a hold of me. Like, don't knock on the door. What do you think? Well, I mean, your mom says no doubt she knows you told this motherfucker that. But he <laughs> was that's my point. Him. Is that I knew she told him to he knock was, on the door, but he insisted, and then he got cussed the fuck out. Oh, he got like, cussed no, he, the fuck out. That he was like, he was like, oh, he's like, that's how I know that's your mom. He's like, cause y'all, he's like, y'all literally sound the same. I'm like, I know. <laughs> I'm like, you should never been knocking on the door. I was like, you should have knocked like, on like, the you, fucking I was like, door, fam. It was her. And I was like, cause if I would open the door, I would have clocked you dead in your face. Like, why are you knocking on the door this early? What's wrong with you? Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Mm. Yeah. All right. Hold on. All right. What's good, What's people? What's good, people? Kai Storm, Ruby Doll in the building. Motherhood, Mother sex, sex marijuana, marijuana in, the in the building, building bitch. <laughs> Ciao. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We are here. We are here. We have Active. arrived. You may bow now. You may bow. <laughs> <laughs> On this show, shout out to the kings, the magnificent kings mm -hmm. that make life even more enjoyable, that yes. make sex enjoyable, parenthood yes. enjoyable. Shout out to you all. This episode is dedicated to you. Uh -huh. We have called it King's Day for a reason. And our theory is anybody could be a father and it takes a real king to do things that kings do. Absolutely. And the fact is, based on the time that we live in now, based on everything that is going on, it is most certainly a great time to uplift, celebrate, and just, you know, give thanks to the kings of, of our lives. You know what I mean? The Absolutely. kings that... that have influenced us, the kings that mean something to us and our children, you know, the kings that, that need to continue to, to, to live and flourish to, you know, to make our family great. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Absolutely. And Shout out to the single fathers yes. out there who are making it work. Um, I don't think single parents get enough credit. Mm -hmm. um, I think that you deserve your own date. Uh, just as there's a Mother's Day or a, another holiday. <clears throat> and the reason for that is because parenting is hard as it already It's already hard. And to be able to take on both roles, it's just we can't say enough about how important that is and how rare that is to do it successfully. Um, so shout out to all of you. Um, queen, queen, queen. Oh, I don't think we we talk enough about the weed that we smoke during these sessions. Right now, yeah. we are partaking of Skywalker OG. Yes. Um, exactly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we are yes. always looking for sponsors. If you are a grower, if you are a distributor or anything, we would love to talk to you. you we love us. Weed store. All kinds of weed, sativas, I mean. indicas, um, hybrids are a personal favorite of mine. And so we, yeah, we don't think we talk enough about the herb that we smoke. Um, I know that buds are my preferred method as mm -hmm. well as yours. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I, I, I've been smoking bloods for over 20 years. And uh, yeah, that's my only, that's my really only way of, of taking in marijuana. Uh, I've tried edibles and child dependent on the chef. An edible could have you bent over and looking like Sleeping. a whole heroin addict. Like for real. <laughs> uh -oh. Like a whole heroin addict. You Sleeping know, through so, alarms in the whole night. Um telling you, so no, 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 no. I'd rather smoke it. I can understand it when it when I am smoking it. I can smoke as much as I want and when I and when I'm done my body will tell me lay. Go lay down. Go sit down somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go sit down somewhere. You know what I mean? So yes, and relax. But um, but yeah, marijuana has always been uh a part of my life, and I de and we glad to have this this platform in order to express our love and in order to share our love with it, as well as 
you know, with the whole Father's Day thing, because, you know, even comedians make jokes about, you know, that, you know, Mother's Day is more important than Father's Day, you know, they, they celebrate all of this and all of that, and, and then when it comes to Father's Day, it's just like he gets a trinket and just, you know, a little breakfast and that's it, you know what I mean, but no, maybe we some need head. to, yeah, maybe some head, you know, but no, it's, it, this is a celebration not only because it should go on every day, because uh, as a parent, if you're a good parent, your Mother's Day and Father's Day is every day, mm -hmm. every fucking day, mm -hmm. every fucking day, so we're going to take the this day, and is seeing your kids thrive, seeing succeed. your kids succeed, seeing your kids learn, seeing your kids better themselves th through your efforts, mm -hmm. is exactly where you get the payoff. No doubt. You know what I mean? And um, as far as kings go, I know that you're very fond of your king. I'm very fond of my king as well and the kings in our lives in general. So what are three things that you love about your king? What are the three things I love about my king is, uh, first of all, he's definitely very much... Uh, a person that 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 takes no bullshit that takes nothing less than the best demands the best uh you know what i'm saying his whole aura speaks that you you better come through correct or don't come through at all you know and he has and um and based on the fact that that he takes no bullshit he will let you know straight how he feels like it is what it is take it how it, i'm not it's not about you know, hurting your feelings, but it's about letting you know where I stand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yes, he is definitely a no bullshit taker. Um, it definitely um, high standards about him, and um, and is very uh, is a very intelligent bloke, woke man. Definitely an intelligent woke man, not somebody that you can just, you know. You can't just slide anything past him. You know what I mean? You're not just going to come at him with anything. You, you, It's going to be particular. It's going to be specific. It's going to be custom motherfucking made. <laughs> okay? Well, that's what's and up. And I like that. That's what's up. And you I know like what? That. It takes a certain person to deal with women of this caliber. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And so this woman, knowing how strong and how much she gives two shits about what people think of her ideology and how she's very unapologetic about her approach to life. You gotta be that in order to. And so I think right now we are paying tribute and homage to people that we have found, like, hey, we on the same frequency, we're on the same vibe. We happen to, if you are in that dynamic, be raising a soul together. It's parenting is fucking dead ass important and who you breed with is very important as well which brings me to my next point of blended families okay uh, with blended families it it can either be the most magnificent situation or it can be a complete nightmare why because emotions are running rampant people mm. are selfish and people are fucked up and mm. dealing with toxicity and trauma so when you group when you have this dynamic where y these people that aren't even related to you are now your family and not only are they your family you're raising children with them you got to get it together okay let me be more specific i'm gonna throw my shit out there so i'm in a relationship and my partner has multiple baby mothers Okay. Multiple meaning we have more than three baby mothers going on. Now that's three different personalities. That's mm -hmm. three whole different whatever. You know, the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. But the common denominator is the kids. Okay, so I'm not anybody's hero. I'm not anybody's therapist. But I know that at the end of the day, it, it's just the kids. And so if your kids know that you guys are constantly beefing, that you guys are constantly at each other's throats for whatever fucking reason, or you don't have your <coughs> emotions together, that's going to speak volumes upon them, and they're go that's going to carry out. Example, I was born into a blended family. Both of my parents were married to multiple people, actually. I think they were each other's, like, third situations. You Ooh. know what I mean? So, as a child... Growing up, I see just this constant example of 
hurt creating more hurt. It's either jealousy, it's either being messed up to a kid because it's not yours, mm. or being fucked up to your partner because you think that when they're picking up their kid, something else is happening. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be 37. You feel me? Mm. I'm not a spring chicken. And I have yet to completely wash this bullshit out of my head. You feel me? Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I talked about my own blended family. Now, I have a better family. And so, I think being conscious of how I was raised and how and the examples that were set before me by these adults helped me to deal with my kids in a different way. So, because I didn't appreciate mom or dad being jealous or being up in their feelings, I'm not going to be up in my feelings. And again, I'm nobody's hero. I'm not perfect. I also have emotions. It took a while for me to get to anywhere near this point. Obviously. But when you're fucking with raising, excuse me, when you're raising lives, you have your whole shift has to change. Your, your whole perspective has to shift. Everything has to change, including you getting out of your own way. And so Ooh. I say all of that only to say, Shout out to the fathers, shout out to the kings that have to deal with baby mama drama, deal with motherfuckers not getting their emotions in line so that their kids can benefit off of both parents, off of their whole support system. And so that is precisely what, what I'm getting at. Now, like I said, it took a while to get here. There is a baby mama particularly um, that I'm quite fond of. And if she's watching this, you know who you are, girl. I took this woman on a date. We was considering raising our family together, having this polygamy, uh, you know, polyamorous, poly polygamous situation. But because she could not get her emotions, could not get her feelings, could not get out of her own way, this could not happen. And it will never happen if this continues. And who suffers, ultimately, I, I don't even need to say it. So I think we get the point. I'm not preaching to anybody, but it's it's something I'm just so sick and tired of seeing. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm approaching 40, and I have yet to heal from the trauma that came from my parents' insecurities. Let me just say it that way. And I, it boils down to insecurity. Why are you tripping for? What 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 is there a trip about? Well, it, it, yeah, it's. I, but I think when it's, with a situation like that, it's definitely attributed to everybody in in the situation. Okay, because and it's relative. First of all, you know, it's specific. I once, understand exactly. Because first of all. The, the, the people involved have to be clear on their, just like you said, have to be clear on their emotions and clear on what, what intentions they have in the first fucking place. Mm -hmm. And not everybody is at a mature level. Not everybody is at the same level. Maturity levels are different. So, you know what I mean? And, and, and at the same time, there's very few people that, that whatever their intentions is, they're willing to, to speak on their intentions, to really speak truthfully on their intentions. So, with your particular situation with, with that baby mother, I'm, I, I, from the minute you told me that story, I was just like, yo, because her intention was to, 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 to slide back in and slide you the fuck out. That's what the fuck her intention was. Right. Her, her intention was, was to, to, you know, find a way to get in without having to do much. And and, and and she didn't realize that, no, that you approached her on a grown level with a grown proposition where, you no, know, you would just be a third party. There is no is writing me out the fucking script. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing, is that, you know what I mean, in, in that approach, it, that's, that's the part that she was missing. Now, in other aspects where, where you know, you have insecurities about what the other person is doing. It's like because you ain't check your feelings. There's some there's some sort of feelings you have about that person that you ain't checked, or that or maybe that person is giving you signals like yeah maybe there's a possibility that me and you could rock every now and then or you know what I mean. 
You know what I mean? So that, so those insecurities, it, it's all about checking your feelings. And then we have the 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 baby mamas who is just using the the whole situation as a pawn to to benefit them in some sort of way, whether it's a, a check uh, or or it's like. I'm going to make you do what I want you to do based on the fact that I had a child with you. There's some of that going on you know too. What I mean? Real shit. And it's, it's, uh, it's disgusting. You know exactly. why it's disgusting? Because there's a whole child that's sitting here just like, well, what, what, what's up? Like in limbo until being. these people get it together. And that's just the saddest, that's the saddest shit. So this said individual while we on the subject and mm. while we talking about trying to push people out mm. it was to the point where i said hey look y'all i will i will leave and i'll make sure no real real dead ass i was like i will actually not only am i gonna exit myself from this but i'm also gonna help y'all through it you know what I mean? Mm. I'm gonna help y'all. You through bigger it. than most. But, but no, I mean, most. I'm no, nah, man. It's, it's, it, it took a lot to get here. I was going through. Not a hell everybody of a got that shit. maturity, ma. But here's the thing: it wasn't good enough. That that wasn't good enough either. Really? So that's what I'm talking about. This whole e emotions. A lot of it comes with a lot of illusion. Comes mm. with a lot of falsified bullshit that gets in everybody's way. Because when I did remove myself, she still did not take that opportunity to get back up in line. You know what I mean? Because she existed before I did. You know right. what I'm saying? In this dynamic. Right. So then it makes you wonder, like, what are your intentions truly? And, and here's what I have come to the conclusion of. It's definitely insecurity-based. It's fear-based, which also, insecurity is fear. And it's a control issue. Because you don't have the control that you feel that you had or that you feel that you should have, whatever the fuck is going on in your oh, mind, you are you are creating these barriers that don't even have to be there. And when you got a third party individual that just wants to come through and just be cool, because we happen to share seed, and so that is a very good reason to be cool. And I don't like you because you're a good tennis player. So it's like, it just really makes me question intentions. And I'm at a point where your intentions are everything. What the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you talking about? And what do you mean when you talk, you know? And so shout out. And this is not to say that you don't have the parental obligation and the responsibility to protect your kid from any harmful danger. If a parent's fucking toxic as fuck, if they're abusive, if they mean to hurt you, now keep them the fuck away. Mm -hmm. This is based, this is a situation where a parent, whether it's a male or female, I don't give a shit. One of the parents is trying to be a part of their seeds reality mm -hmm. of their upbringing. As they should, but they're being denied that due to somebody's mood or somebody's feelings or somebody whatever the fuck is going on that really is irrelevant to what really needs to go on. What really if needs to you the, feel the, me? The importance is the, the raising of know. the child. I don't know well, all the answers, Matt Ma, but I know that it's not that. The importance is the raising of the child. Yeah, and, and you know what I'm saying, and. It is Whether it's a situation where the, where you want to make it a, a, a three, you know, three adult family, or it's just, you know, what I'm saying y'all have a cohesive relationship where y'all are making sure the children are golden. Yes. Either way, it's all about communication. It's all about respect. It's and it's definitely all about having your feelings checked and not coming to the table with any kind of fucking secret. You know, sacred intentions. You know what I'm saying? Because Any kind of ill will. You know what I mean? Because that's the, the foundation is right. the betterment of the children. The, right. the golden level of the children to, to make sure that that's what it is. Otherwise, you just have continual trauma and hurt and pain. And you're not doing anything. And... Your efforts, if they are there, are going to be minute. Are still a waste of fucking time because nobody gives a fuck about your vain. fuckery feelings. 
So the, the people involved yes. that, that are not on fuckery shit are not going to give a fuck about fuckery shit. Simple. You know what I mean? I myself have so. never, uh, I thank God, haven't had any level of baby mama drama or a baby com mama conversations. I ain't never met nobody baby mama, period. Yeah. And, and, and thank God. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. But yeah. if it, it, it ever had come to that situation, it, it would be a situation where it's like, my child is related to your child. I want them to get along. I definitely want her. To want them to have family. I definitely and know want of that. each other. I and think know that's of important. each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I have all girls. You know what I mean? And so, on with one of my daughters, she has brothers. Matter of fact, both two of my daughters, they they got brothers, and and I like that. I like that. You know what I mean? If even though we don't live in the same state, I mean just the fact that having you know, men in the family and that, you know, you honor and, and respect, yes. But security. Yes, yes. Because in, in the teaching of motherhood, part of the teaching of motherhood, whether you have a son or daughter, is to, is to about, also, one of the things you teach them is to respect themselves and to respect, you know what I'm saying, other people, you respect other women, you know what I'm saying. That's, that's all part of the whole fucking lesson. So, when you when you doing it like that, and, and and you have men in your life that you're respecting, and you and you teach them to respect and shit, you know what I mean? They automatically will go out in the street with that with those lessons, and and, and hopefully they won't you know pick up no fucking uh, you know fuckery lessons that other people are teaching. But we do live in a time where it's chicks like literally just. Having ch having babies with dudes for checks and and, and using the, the kids as pawns and just and all all you you all you're doing is concentrating on your feelings, but you're not you're not thinking about your future, which is your foundation, which which is the reason why you had the child in the first place. That's your future. That's your foundation. You don't you you and as a a good mother, good father, good parent, good guardian. Should not want to fucking sow bad seeds into your child. You know what I mean? So yeah. So be mindful of that. Be mindful um, of all that. If you're just tuning shit. in, we are talking about kings and the importance of them in our lives. Yes. We're big up in them. We are worshiping. Not worship. That's for that's for later. <laughs> <laughs> but we are. We are just expressing our gratitude and we're sharing some of the things that we feel that our brothers and our kings have to go through. Mm -hmm. um, not to mention the judicial system and the fact of if I'm arguing with my dude, I better not call the cops on him, even if I'm hitting on him, because they most likely will be taking him in. You feel me? And so I think that it's messed up when <laughs> we know that our little squeaky voices over the phone calling 911 is going to create havoc for somebody. And it's like, why would you do that to someone that you love? And why use that as a tool? You bitches out there, you know who, who you're, who's guilty of this? You know who I'm talking about. You can't hide, okay? We've seen it. We know people in our personal lives that pull this shit. Don't call the cops on your significant other, particularly if it's not a, if you're hitting him as well. If there's like a mutual exchange, you know what I mean? And I've shared many times, I am a domestic violence survivor, but I'm also a oppressor. I'm also the guilty of domestic violence as well because I have laid hands on my partners. And I'm not proud of it at all. I don't do it currently. We've grown from that, but I have. And I deserve to get in trouble just as much as the other person did, is my point. I'm not downplaying domestic violence. If you are experienced domestic violence and you feel helpless, please, you can reach out to us and we will let you know. There's lots of um, resources, free resources, hotlines, there's so many things out there, so don't be afraid. And I'm not downplaying domestic violence or saying it's okay. I'm just saying I was guilty of it as well. Uh, let me tell you something when it comes to a situation like that. If you're in a situation where you're like there's fucking, you know what I'm saying, bones broken, just just ridiculous just uh and you know you're say you're, you're 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 being bruised up left no, and right don't you, stand for that. you can't talk to your family 
you can't go outside as uh, because you know you're all bruised up or whatever you know what i'm saying you you losing teeth and, and and shit like that you know what i'm saying it, motherfucker yeah. is it's hitting you with fucking you know what i'm saying threatening you with knives and and guns and shit shit like that yes you call the you call yeah, somebody get you get, get help. help or fight you get, back you fight back you get the do fuck you out and, and you you fucking or get king. order mm-hmm. protections all of that shit Wh- yeah. whether it's a man or woman something like this is happening to you yes yeah most certainly we're get not talking help. about y'all we're talking about the motherfuckers I'm talking that had about, a drop but, of a dime uh, but, to call the cops i'm talking about uh, uh, somebody it, 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 that you look like you or you push that motherfucker to you in an argument with somebody and you push them to, to hit you and then and, and and it's a situation like that and then you call the cops like that you, you don't understand the repercussions of that the repercussions of that just go deep it and it could be and, deadly and it could fucking and, and and it fucking continues it go it continues in other parts of your life where that person has a record that person now all of a sudden has to you know be dealing with with for certain shit like when they go apply for a job you got to fucking look at have somebody in hr call you and say oh yeah we we did a we did a fucking uh, a, a search on you and we found that you got locked up for this and this and that. you know what i'm saying everything come on. has repercussions come on and all those are the you know what i mean unless and so what we're saying is that don't call cops for for for, for some fuck shit. don't yeah. don't use the cops on any and i'm talking about any race don't use the cops against anyone Un- unless you are fucking in ill will and that person right. is hurting you trying to take your life. Yes. Particularly if you're going to be slobbing on that knob by nightfall. You know what I'm saying? Or whenever they're Basically, from jail. Basically, if like, your just ass really... is going to pick, if your mm-hmm. ass is going to call police and then pick his ass up from the jail when he get released. You're and, a joke. And, and, and be sucking his dick while you fucking you're driving fucking him home. Dope. Then then that's mm-hmm. the kind of, then, then, then bitch, I'm talking yeah. to you. Bitch, we're talking to you. Mm-hmm. Okay? That that's the kind of fuck shit we talking about. Yeah, please don't do that. But please Be don't the fucking do that. While you know we're on the subject of change and betterment and enlightenment, let's just be mindful of that. Mm-hmm. And again, y'all know who you are. Y'all you know, know who who's guilty of it. We need not point fingers. At one point in my life, I think I was pulling that stupid ass card. And so I learned very well that the police did not have our best interests in mind. And why on earth would I put somebody I love ultimately in that predicament? Indeed. So thank you, big ups to the kings. We love you so much. Three things that I would admire, that I would say that I admire about the king in my life is um, honesty. Um, I always, I always prefer honesty over everything, mm-hmm. and to have somebody that is honest, as honest as you are. Um, also, um, secondly, the service. You know, I love being served in every way. I love also to serve. And so when you are in a dynamic where you're in a relationship, I think it's important to serve each other. And so that's one thing that I love and enjoy. Um, And thirdly is, um, so the attention that I get. And Mm -hmm. I think that most like independent women don't ask for much and i think a little attention does go a long way so Mm -hmm. when i find that my partner is being attentive towards my needs it could be the simplest thing it could be a glass of water it means literally everything because there's really nothing i can't do for myself right and same for you and for many of you and so it's not necessarily that i want to have a slave or any or, or an assistant or anybody to bow down to me in that i just it feels good to be thought of Mm -hmm. you know i think i I love that i'm also a sapiosexual so i do i'm attracted to the mind more than anything Mm -hmm. um and one of the sexiest things that somebody said was pretty much if you can't accept it my 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 child comes first and if you can't accept it then fuck you Mm. And I, I think that that can be translated in so many different ways, but that was just the gist of it. Mm. And that just turned me the fuck on. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Right. So shout out for that. That is like one of the sexiest qualities. When you put your your seed before 
your dating or before your whatever, your mm -hmm. your life, your sleep, whatever, that sacrifice I think needs to be celebrated as well and Absolutely. appreciated. Absolutely. Yes. And shout out to those that have had a hand in raising us. I know that mm -hmm. um, I just want to shout out those that have passed on, namely my father and my stepfather, um, have both passed on, both very strong, humble, hardworking immigrants mm -hmm. that came to this uh, land with just a hope to like give to give us whatever they could. And Lord. yes, it was on the term in terms of materialism, because that's what people were trying to do when they came to America, you know, I feel when they immigrate here, you're tr or they migrate here, you're trying to um, come up, you know, mm. and, and create a better financial situation for your for your family. Absolutely. And so for that, I do big up to their intentions. And I think I'm so grateful for everything that they taught me. Were my parents perfect? No, in no way, shape or form. And neither am I. Nobody, are. Um, Nobody is. But I do appreciate the gems that they did leave. Um, I also want to beg up um, my brothers who have passed on. I have three brothers that have passed away. Wow. Uh, one in particular they had a very, um, like a lot to do with my upbringing because he helped mm -hmm. to raise me. But they're my siblings. They're kings in my life. And I when I do date or when I do get involved with somebody and when I do fall in love usually, I reference my experiences with like that I've had like with my brothers and my fathers in that, you know, what do I want? Whether it was negative or positive, like what do I want in that partner and what do I want to, what do I expect? And so um, big ups to the Samoan community as well. I'm a very proud Samoan woman. And um, one of the teachings as you're growing up in the Samoan community is mm. that you revere your sisters. You revere all women in your life, but particularly your sisters. There's a sacredness when you uphold your sisters and put them on a pedestal. And there's also blessings that they believe are acquainted with that. And I nice. strongly believe in that. And so I just want to shout out my brothers, um, Sam, Solomona, and William. Mm. And these souls uh, left behind a lot of people that love them dearly, including wow. children. Wow. Shout out to my father, mm. uh, my biological father, um, Sila Fanga. You know, I named my daughter Sila, and mm. she named after my dad. Nice. And so um, it's just one of those cool unisex names. And uh, I had already decided that my child would be named Sila, whether it was a boy or a girl. Mm. Nice. But, um, you know, I think with my father, I have, I, I learned the most about service because the way that he served my mom was remarkable. Nice. And it's something that I have the blessing of, of having now. You feel nice. me? So big ups to all of you guys. We love you. Uh, you are the other part of the equation for raising all of these babies. Um, all you fathers out there, all mm. you kings out there. Mm -hmm. Do you have a story to share with us? Oh my God. About your king. Oh my God. All right. So definitely this, not only it, 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 ex it, it fucking exudes exactly the kind of person he is and and the person that I'd known him to be even in our relationship, but also just as a father <laughs> himself, you know what I'm saying? Being a father himself. Now, my king has three children, two sons, one daughter. Now, them, now before when it was just two, the two sons, oh yes, he was very man and macho about it. Like, yes. My sons is going to be knocking down hoes left and right. Oh, they going to be hitting this way and hitting that way and hitting all in the middle. Oh, yes. They going to be getting all the boom boom. All the boom boom going to be falling. And he would say this proudly to his friends that had daughters. That's hilarious. Proudly. He would say this proudly. Until he had a daughter himself. Dun, dun, dun. Then all of a sudden, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, no, it's not funny again. No, no, don't make that joke again. I will kill you today. I will kill you dead right now. If you even attempt to make the same joke I told you, you can't, no, you cannot say that to me. I am. 
the I'm gonna, I, turned. I'm gonna get really upset and in my feelings. I already in my feelings. She's only two days old. I'm in my feelings right now. I'm in my feelings. Word. Yes. And we talking about when she was born. 2009. Let's head on over to 2020. Fast forward it. Let's head on over. Now, in 2020, we realized that this section right here, from this this section to this section, it is automatically gorgeous. What's going of on course. here? I got you. You know what I mean? And this section right here is automatically gorgeous because he ain't ugly. I ain't ugly. Absolutely. You not. feel me? So we we definitely we definitely all the way, you know. She's all the way hooked up right here. Never mind round his and, and the hips and the ass. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He's noticing that shit. He's noticing, you know what I'm saying, flat stomachs and, and very, very gorgeousness. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And so it, in his mind, he's saying to himself, oh God, they are boys and they are looking at her well, and, they are, and, the, and the possibility they are grown men. We live in a, in a where even grown men are looking at her. Oh Stop no. Stop it. Wait. Wait, so, you know, he's shining knives, he, he's buying, you know, guns, is, it's ready to go pow, pow, boom, oh, yeah. you feel me? So, you know, and it's him realizing that, yeah, we not, we not, oh, we are not only keeping a daughter off the pole, but we also got a, we also got a daughter that we got to watch for, you know, just interaction. He's not just worried about your poom poom. He got to worry about a whole nother poom poom. He got to worry about Forever. a whole nother poom poom. Forever. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And the fact is he will approach the situation. I have told her he will approach the situation like he approached, like he approached me in our relationship. You know what I'm saying? Let him find out some information. You, you know, it'll just be just you and him sitting there just having a ice cream. And then all of a sudden he'll pop up and be like, who's Carlos? And your whole heart will drop. Cause you're like, Oh my God, wait a minute. How you know about Carlos? Is Carlos dead? Oh man. He might be dead already. Yes. Man. Yes. Keep your hands. You know what I'm and the fact out. is, you know, when, you know, in our relationship, he would just, one of his main things that he would love to do is just show up at places. Oh, you just telling him that, yeah, me and my homegirl, we gonna go have a drink over there, yeah. And then he'll be like, oh, word. word. Oh, all right, yeah, I'm gonna go over there. I ain't even gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> and then yeah. 10 seconds later, he at your spot looking at your face like, what's up? Uh -oh. Yeah, I pop up. I, I, I find, yeah. No, I ain't got to tell you the fuck I pop up. I pop the fuck up to find out what you're doing. Who you talking to? Who the fuck is this nigga? What's going on? Why the fuck is this going on here? What's popping? You know what I'm saying? What's popping? Fucking lootly. You know what I mean? So. Welcome back, y'all. She, Happy gonna, King's Day. She's going to get a situation. She's going to be in a situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She's definitely going to be in a situation. And him as a father, he's realizing, you know, yeah. It's, it's 2020. Not so funny. It's not so funny. <laughs> sure. Ain't nobody going to be running up in that. And not, and by golly, if somebody even try, I'm going to kill him. Protect it. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Thank but, you so much for sharing that. That is a funny story. But it was hilarious. And, and I mean, and then when he was here, it was like hilarious to, to watch him look at her. I mean, even when we video chat and he see her walk past and he's like, yo, look at what the fuck is, why she got all that ass? The fuck? And even at the, even when we went to the doctor the other day, I took him to the doctor to get the physical. She had on like a little half shirt, but she had on a shirt, like a, a, a shawl over it, but she had on a half shirt and her little belly was out and definitely he peeped that was like hey you know i ain't gonna yeah. say nothing I where's the rest of that shirt I <laughs> but i know if it was it's me and if, you, and if you was there i would have been like where the fuck you going with that shirt you no know nah, i'm gonna need you to put on the rest of the shirt where yeah. the rest of the shirt no nah, i see your belly and shit where the rest of the shirt Parenting is scary in general. Mm -hmm. And when you have an understanding of how mm -hmm. the world works and Word. some of the uh, criminal minds, you know, and, and, and the predators, it's a real thing. I'm constantly searching the um, sex offender list 
from the radius, you know, within a radius of where we live and where we're working and where we're going and call it obsessive, but you never know who you're dealing with. And I think having that coupled with our own, you know, mama bear, <laughs> you know, instincts. And plus, and plus Father, experiences. You know. I mean, the fact is, when we were younger, we, we were, I mean, come on. Yeah, I was bad. Had grown mm -hmm. ass men walking up to you. Yeah, I was bad in the sense of I lied to my parents a lot. Um, I was also raised in a very strict household. And so I felt like I needed to, to do certain things. And I was very bad. I lied a lot and I could Me not too. wait to do some nasty shit when I was out there. And so when I look at my girls, particularly, I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, don't even fucking try it for once because, and you'll thank me later. Okay. You can hate me now, but we're going to thank each other later because you don't have to do every stupid shitheaded thing that I did or that you see other adults doing around. much less right now we live mm -hmm. in a technology age mm -hmm. where <laughs> yeah. girl it, like i can find you like like if the cops <laughs> can find you i can find you like and we will and and i will you know what i'm saying if Our i'm son? paying like perfect example i'm paying for your cell phone if you live in my house and you're a teenager and i'm paying for your cell phone that means I could turn on a, 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 a app on my yeah. phone that says it tells me where the fuck you at. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you say I'm I'm at A and the, and the the app says you at B, it's uh -oh. like now, nah, bitch, you at A. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah. So don't try. So it. that's know. one thing. It's a blessing, I think, for our children to have us as parents. But it's also like you gotta be you gotta mind your your p's and q's because you will get called out and. We've done it after to know when you're doing your dirt. I mean, come on. My sons are, you know, I have a 16 year old as well. And it's just remarkable about what they think they can lie to you about. Because, <laughs> it, it, well, the reason why they think they can lie to you is because mm -hmm. they, it, 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 in their mind, in their young mind, because we, I, I had the same thoughts too. Mm -hmm. You were thinking you're doing something brand fucking new. Mm -hmm. You doing something new. You you thinking something new. Your brain is advanced, and your parents is some kind of old fucking Out decrepit software you know software that, 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 that don't get updated that no, don't get updated to too, baby. you feel me but it and it's not till you reach mm -hmm. our age our seasoned fucking age that you say really young as that, that you say to yourself oh shit wait a minute none of this all this shit is recycled i'm literally doing all the only difference is that i got technology on on my side now whereas back in the day there was my mama didn't have technology right. thank god <laughs> oh lord thank god but uh yes but all uh, our lives our lives are recycled everything that we live Nothing you know what i'm saying so time. so when they come to you with the stories you're just like mm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sure and you think I believe that? I'm, a, you know what? I'm gonna choose to let you believe that I believe that. No, that's what I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna let you tell me this funky story, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you feel like I believe. I believe you. Even while you walk away, you feel satisfied, and I'm side eyeing your funky ass like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work, guys. Let go and on, uh, by the way, if I'm paying for your phone, let me hold that real quick. While oh. you go and enjoy the four walls of your room that you oh. don't pay for either. Well, <laughs> when you don't know how to act, I'm just saying. Yeah, and so shout out for the parents who do get it, who do not spoil their children unnecessarily. I'm not talking about spoiling with love. Please spoil with love, kisses, hugs, all that shit. But spoiling unnecessary, like I never got this concept of allowance. Like you're gonna pay this motherfucker for just living and breathing and like <laughs> you're already paying for everything. Like, have them take out the trash, pay them for that. Fucking scrub a wall. Then we can talk about paying you for shit. Otherwise, while I'm paying for you to exist, I'm not gonna pay for you to exist on top of that. I mean, I'm gonna give you some money. Fight me. I, 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 I don't call it allowance. I call it, I'm gonna give you some money so I, that you know when you go outside, you got your own shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you know, you ain't begging nobody. You ain't, you know, you got your you own shit. You also have expectations for them you to pull their weight. But as at well. the same time, I'm not, 
I, I, I'm not just going to give you what you want unless you, you do something in the house. This ain't, no, you're going to do and help and and be part of the situation. Even the five-year-old d- does something. Right. So what? Okay. What? You, you, you're you going to be a part of the pro- a productive part of the house. And literally, that in itself is a lesson to the children. That in itself is a lesson to the fucking children. You do chores, you make a difference. Work ethic, you let them know that they, they that they are working for. You know what I'm saying? That they are working for the household. They are part of the household. That 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 yeah. You know, continues to to provide for you and and, and everybody in be, the house. That could just be you the capitalist in me and the fucking. You know, wanting to order them around and shit because well, I'm feeling no, like no, that's <laughs> true too. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You, you, you fuck that. You work for me. You damn right. And mm-hmm. but at the same time, you teaching them that they have to work to make uh, to make a living. You know what I'm saying? That you work to make a living. They you are teaching them that they have to work Expected to make a living. Well. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know what I mean. And especially if it was something that that was inbred from you know from your parents, like with my mother, my mother. It, it always was on some, I mean, yes, she, she was not, not the person that you could walk up to it and, 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 and be told my, oh, I want this, 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 that. And she just all of a sudden buy for you. No, fuck not. But she taught me a work ethic. Like, yo, I, I got a job. I kept working towards a goal. And once I accomplished that goal, I fucking, I, I moved on and kept and, and did what I wanted to do for me. You know what I'm saying? I I set a goal, I accomplished that goal, and I, and now I'm living that goal. You Very know what I mean? Admirable. You know what I'm saying? And that's how. And that's one of the lessons I definitely want to give to my daughters. Now, as far as father influence is concerned, with me, I didn't actually meet my father till I was uh, an adult. You know what I mean? Because. I, I, I could say that, you know, my mother at the time was, you know, not really easy or, you know, she didn't make it easy to, for me to know my father when I was younger. So it, 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 it just, that's how, that's how it was. And, and I kind of left it like that until, you know, we, be, I became a grown person and at, but after meeting him, the influence of him was that I, I really understood where where a, a certain of my ways came from, even though I didn't really connect with this man until I was, you know, a grown person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was still inbred in me, you know, his mm-hmm. influences. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it was like, it, so once we, we started, you know, once our connection became real and we were connecting on a regular basis, it was, it became obvious, you know, that his influence was always there, you know what I mean? Mm. Even though it wasn't there, you know what I mean? And I also attribute that to my mother, not only, be, not, and not because she tried to play mother and father, but also because not only because her foundation was that she loved her father, you know, her father was one of her favorite men in the world and she worked hard and, and she always exuded, you know, certain, uh, certain criterias about herself and everything around her. So it was, it, so it, it was similar to my father. It was a lot of similar similarities as far as influences to my father. So once I met him, it was just like, it meshed in a, it, and it, it clicked. It automatically clicked. You know what I mean? But you know, so I, I also I, so I also want to talk about women that you know what I mean that they play the father role. You know when the father is not there, but still exude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a certain ethic in their kids that that they still grow up and and, and be productive people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whether that men in influence is there or not. It, the men influence is important. N- don't get me fucking wrong. It's motherfucking important. It but, also takes a village. So shout out to yeah. uncles and any other, uh, you take, know, yeah, father Yeah, uncles, figures, grandfathers. Because uh, like, like I said, my father, my, my grandfather, my mother's father was my, my mother's favorite person in the world. And when I met him twice, 
when I was younger. And um, he passed away around when I was like um, 15. And when he passed away, because he lived in California by himself, and he passed away in, in, a, in, you know, in his sleep. And I got the call. And I had to be the one to tell my mother that her favorite person is no longer. And it was just like, that experience made me, that's another thing that, that you know, influenced me. Like, because he was her favorite person. And when he passed, it was just like, wow. Tell her that, being the one to tell her that was just like historic. It became part of my history. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It definitely became part of my history. And it became part of my father influence. Not not to say that he he was the only father influence between my you know, my grandfather and my my father. I also had a stepfather who is my sister's father. We you know what I mean? He raised me as as his own daughter. And he was definitely a, a strong man, strong-willed man that, that took care of his family, took care of everybody around him. So, you know, I'm thankful for, for having, you know, those influential people in my life and, and okay. still, that is still, you know, pick up all those influences until I met my father and then realized that his influence was in my life all, all my life and didn't even, you know, without even knowing it. You know what I mean? That's beautiful. Yes, and indeed does take a village. And I do believe in that as well. Um, my partner um, didn't meet his dad until he was an older, um, he was older, I believe. Mm -hmm. He met him when maybe he was like a teenager and then again established a genuine relationship in his adulthood. Mm -hmm. And was all the better for it and just realized how much alike he was exactly to him, you know and um i think it's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. and i think that people make choices for whatever they do make choices for but if we can give anybody advice that will help you in your life and particularly help your babies we're gonna do that and we're not going to um sugarcoat anything for you as well because we believe in love one thing i love about mamas generally is that we keep it real mm -hmm. you got to because you don't do your kid any favor by coddling them or lying to hell them. fuck no why if you want your child to, to 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 be in the world and be the best and survive representation yeah. uh, and not even representation of you representation of themselves you're yeah. gonna give them all the fucking tools, and you're not going and coddling them is a, is a waste of your fucking time, right. especially especially if you got a, a a bit of melanin in your skin. Oh, grrr. if you got a bit of melanin in your skin, you gotta do some extra teaching. You we gotta do some is, extra way. fucking teaching in these here times, based on uh, based on melanin, based on gender. And social, based economic on gender, based on social, uh, uh, economic, based based on the environment. You gotta equip them, and no you, one's you, going you to do it. Not, you are not doing your child you. a service by exactly. telling, by fucking sending them out and thinking that everything is fucking fairyland and fucking candy. Nah, because they'll learn it. They'll learn it some other way, and then chances are. It may not be too savory of a way if we're talking about the cruel, cruel world that we indeed, live in. <laughs> indeed, indeed. The fact is, it's the also a beautiful is, world. So. We live in in an in, in some sort of kind of man. Listen, and and, 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 and it's survival of the fittest. It's yeah. survival of the fittest. And as a person of melanin, you must absolutely equip your child with every fucking lesson. They should be les learning lessons in their house of survival uh, on a daily basis anyway. Yeah. Never mind the fact that once they step out into the world, they, they're they using those lessons to, 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 to make sure that nobody don't, you know what I mean? Because that's how you want. You want your child to be equipped so that they go out and nobody fucks with them. And anybody fucks with them, they know how to react. Right. That would be an accomplishment for a parent, for sure. Uh, if values and standing up for what's right and for yourself and your dignity is important to you.
Indeed. So I just want to again thank all of our subscribers. Thank everybody who has contributed to the show. Oh, everybody man. we had. Shout out to Devi Maisha, Black Orgasms Matter. Shout out to Hedusa. Who else have we met? Sure. Maisha. 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 Yes. Yes. Maisha, Maisha was good. Uh, all I mean, of our guests that have come through, all of the guests that we have yet to to talk about, you know, what um, I'm saying? and shout out to all those have that have enriched our lives in so many ways. We indeed, love you. indeed, especially our men. Our men need upliftment. Our yes, men need celebration. Them. And and Father's Day, make sure he he feels as special as he made you on Mother's Day. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's all. You know what I'm saying? And. You know, continue to, you know what I'm saying, to, to be aware, continue to, you know what I'm saying, make your kids aware. And, you know what I'm saying, don't be af afraid to have real fucking discussions with your children or around your children. You know what I'm saying? L let them be aware at all times so that when they step out, they step out prepared. Absolutely. Okay? Step out prepared for anything and every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? They and know who better they to know, do it. You know what I'm saying? And who better to do it than you since you brought mm -hmm. them in the world? I mean, it, th my thing is, you brought them in the world not to fucking just let them do whatever and just be whatever and and, and take and, a gamble. And no. And no, 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 no. You shaping them. You shaping yeah. them and, and, and you going to shape them to be the best. That's it. You know what I'm saying? You shaping them to be the best. Absolutely, I wanted to um, definitely give a shout out to our brand ambassadors. We are, we got two brand ambassadors yes, now. Yes, ladies. You shout know what I'm saying? To Nikki and you know what I'm saying? And, and Nikki Rich, and your shirt should be. If you ain't get your shirt to, uh, on by now, you, your shirt should be on the way. And, and, and Smoker Hunters, all I got to do is order your shirt, honey. And so you yes. know what I mean. It's all good. I also want to shout out Camille. Uh, Sami and Lockie for your contributions oh, absolutely. to this show and um, everything that you've contributed. You know who you are. You know how much you have helped, and we so appreciate everything. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, please uh, get more. Help us get more subscribers. Share this video. Share other Subscribe, content. Subscribe. Comment. That you feel that's relevant, particularly. Comment. Hit that bell. Send yes. us an email. Send us a text message. Cash you know what I'm saying? us. Uh, Cash we would love to us. keep doing this and your you contributions I mean? in any form. And we'll if you want to share, man, hit me up, man. We we, 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 go, we, we, go, we go work it out. We go, if you want to share, you, you know what I'm saying? You want to represent us, you know, you get a share, you, you know, you can holler. You can holler. Definitely. And we love you all so much. Indeed. Thank you for your supporting us. Yes. Uh, give us more ideas. We already have some things lined up, I mm -hmm. must tell you. Uh, but let Look us know. Look for us every two weeks. Now, see, if you hit that yes. bell, every two weeks, you'll get automatic. a notification. Like automatic. that direct deposit. You know what I'm Hitting saying? It. Double D on this bitch. No, you Yo, love that direct you, deposit. Everybody so loves direct deposit. To us. Everybody like loves hitting direct, that direct deposit. Everybody loves direct deposit. Exactly. So you'll definitely hit that bell, and every two weeks, you'll get new content. And trust me, we got shit in the bank that's going to Bang, listen. So super spicy. You know what I mean? Hot. Check us out. Subscribe. You know, you send us. A, you know what I mean? Make sure you you bookmark our website. Shit, bookmark the website, bitch. You damn mm. right. Shoot us some text messages. Follow us on all social media. You feel me? Definitely. And spread the word. Tell a friend. You don't feel me? Spread the word. Tell a friend. And tell your mama too. Tell, tell everybody. Watch <laughs> us all. Tell everybody. Family. All right, y'all. Much love to the kings. We yeah, love man. you. We support we love you. Kings. We salute you. We love our kings. The kings that have influenced in our past. The kings mm -hmm. that continue us to influence us now, and all the kings that are listening, that are uh, that are you know uh, 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 feel appreciated by our message. We love you. Indeed. Indeed. Mother has sex marijuana. Always in, the in the building. building. Always in the motherfucking <laughs> building, bitch. <laughs> huh? The fuck? <laughs>